Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is James, this is Jamie Dodger Flips. This morning we have been at a car boot, but winter is definitely coming because it was absolutely freezing. I couldn't feel my fingers. I didn't actually film this morning. I had the camera on ready, but I just wasn't really feeling it and it was so dark, so cold. Uh, there wasn't really much point because the majority of the pickups, which I'll show you now, which are all down here in these bags, I actually picked them up mostly in the dark, so you probably wouldn't have seen them anyway, and it would have been a bit of a crappy sort of video. So I thought I'll just come home, get into the garage, and show you exactly what I found, how much I paid, and how much I will hopefully end up getting for it once it's sold on eBay. Also, I've just realised my hair is a complete mess, so apologies for the hat hair. I had my cap on this morning at the car boot, and it's just made a right mess of it. I'll go through the pickups. Um, really, really successful. Again, as you saw in my most recent car boot video, which I should be uploading tomorrow, which is Monday, very shoe crazy. I found so many boots at the last boot sale and this boot sale didn't disappoint i got boots shoes and a load of other items as well but as always i'll start with the sort of lowest in value and work my way up to the best most successful pickups so as i just mentioned i picked up two loads of ikea bags full of stock so yeah pretty successful car boot what my plan is now with this stock is to actually put it into the loft ready for q1 so sort of january february time and I've already actually started making a start on the Q4 stuff that I mentioned in previous videos because it is now Q4 and I'm actually getting through it really quickly. It's sort of listing five to ten items a day if I can manage and adding to the draft bank, taking from that every morning, listing it, but it's quickly disappearing and the stuff's selling, which is good, you know, I'm making money, but it'll be a bit of a panic sort of come end of November, December time when I haven't really got much left in my Q4 stock. But I also have all this Q1 stock sitting in the loft ready to list. So who knows, I'm, I'll probably end up diving into that loft stuff as well. Just to add to the shop. And at the end of the day, making money is more important than just sitting on stock. So the first pickup, we'll start with this Monopoly Pokemon. Actually a first time finding this for me. I knew there was a little bit of value in it. Not massive money like the Pokemon Master Trainer game, which goes for like £100 plus. Uh, this Monopoly, I think in good complete condition, 15 to 20 quid. I have had a quick look. It's missing one of the tokens. So it's got five out of the six tokens. Probably get like 10, 12 pound for it. It's in good condition other than, other than that, but hopefully the rest is complete. We'll wait and see. Picked up these two Harry Potter books. Uh, these I think are from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Uh, we're actually binging the whole series right now on Netflix. So we're on Deathly Hallows part one at the moment. Probably watch part two tonight, but such a nostalgic sort of film. It's just so good to watch. Definitely recommend watching it again if you haven't watched it in years. Um, yeah, these, this is really cool. It's sort of a pop-up pop -up book. Got the dragon there. There's the book there. It's just different scenes from the films, but all in sort of pop-up style. So it's actually really cool. Paid one pound for this book. Uh, there you go. There's the castle. How cool is that? Might actually keep it, give it to little CC. We'll wait and see. And also this one here, this is a Harry Potter creatures book. Not as crazy as that pop-up book, but the pages do still pop out. And that one there also cost me a pound. So probably get like five to 10 quid each on these books. Or maybe I'll just pair them up if I was to sell them, get like 10, 15 quid. So not amazing, but quite a cool item to have. Sort of a bread and butter item for me. Brand new with tags, grow blind, one pound this one cost me. It should sell for about 10 pound on eBay. Everyone seems to put down the sort of one pound to 10 pound sales, but I kind of rely on these sales just to keep my shop afloat. You know, if, if you don't manage to make that big sale in the day, you could make five 10 pound sales, make 50 quid, and then your day isn't completely ruined. And you've seen me pick one of these up before. This is a Medela, or Medela, however you pronounce it, but that's a uh, breast pump. Uh, two pound this one cost me. I think brand new, you're probably looking at about 40 quid but pre-owned maybe 20, 25 pound on that one. So again, not too bad. I need to test it all out, but I did check the batteries and they haven't corroded or anything. So I don't see why it wouldn't work. So let's get into some shoes. Uh, the first pickup of the morning, I arrived really late this morning. I say late, it was half six when I got there, but they let people in at half six. So as soon as I pulled up, everyone was walking in and usually I'm at the front of the queue. So I managed to find these two pairs of ASICs. Uh, the guy wanted two pound each, but I managed to get both pairs for three pounds. So knocked a pound off. Uh, you've got a6 gel quantum 180 i think these ones are uh, these ones sell for about 20 to 30 pound pretty nice clean condition the other pair are i actually thought these were hokers i was showing off johnny because i said <laughs> i said i found some hokers straight away but they're actually not they've got the same sort of design and the look it actually just says noosa uh yeah so they're kind of designed to look like hokers i guess but they're actually a6 uh, these ones probably like more like 15 quid or something uh they're a little bit worn on the toes but they still have good tread Nice clean condition still, just a little bit damaged. Little recommendation, when you're selling beating up shoes like this, people still like to buy good quality shoes for certain events and runs. A good example is Tough Mudder. So what I do is I'll, I'll list these shoes 
and I put Tough Mudder Shoes in the title because obviously people don't want to ruin their sort of £80 bricks or something uh, at a Tough Mudder event because they get so muddy. So they'll go on eBay, they'll buy these cheap shoes for 15 quid and they'll save their shoes. It's a good little way to make a little bit of extra money on your sale and get your items seen by people who are after the sort of beating up shoes because they do sell and you know £1.50 into 15 quid is still a really decent sale. I paid £2.50 for these ones here. These are actually they're ASICs but they're not called ASICs they're Onitsuka. Onitsuka? Tiger? I think that's a better way to see it. Uh, so if you see this brand do pick them up because they're usually actually really good. I thought maybe 20 quid but I've just checked solds on eBay. These are the Serrano model and they go for about £40, 35 to £40. Pound. Uh, most of the solds are in America because I think that's where they originated. If I put these up for sort of 25 to 35 quid, they'll probably sell within a few weeks, I reckon. Uh, nice clean condition. I think people like them. They're that sort of retro athletic sort of design. And yeah, people still buy them. So good market for them. Keep an eye out at the car boot for that name. I will try and show solds on the screen, but sometimes I can't find the exact like color or whatever, but they're usually similar models and same condition. So that's sort of a rough price of what I will um, be getting for the item. So after finding the ASICs, Next all on, found these sketches. Uh, not much money in them, probably about 15 to 20 quid, but she only wanted two pound and there's no heavy damage or no rips, no like peeling from the soles. Uh, yeah, so two pound for these ones, 15 quid back. And another brand not to pass up on, which I've seen so many people walk past because they just think it's sort of a high street brand, not worth too much money. Uh, these are high techs. Uh, I've done really well with high techs in the past. You never, get, you never get too much money unless they're sort of brand new, but still, if you're buying them cheap enough and you can sell them for sort of 25 to 30 quid, then it's no different to picking up a pair of ASIC running shoes, which you're going to sell for 20 quid. So yeah, I paid £3 for these ones. They had a price tag on there of £5. Managed to haggle them down for £3. She was happy with it. They're fully leather, lovely clean walking boot. I reckon on this model here, probably 25 to 30 on them. The soles are a little bit worn, but other than that, they're pretty good. There's no cracking and again, no no splits to the leather and the side sole. And my next pickup, I was really happy with this one, really late on in the morning and it was kind of like three lanes into the car boot. So again, similar to my previous video where I found all those boots on the first lane, this was only like on the third lane in. Uh, you've got a vintage Pokemon price guide, which is really cool. I actually brought this for my own collection and a pair of Sancho um, cowboy boots. If you've seen the channel for a while, you'd have seen I've seen these at the car boot. Usually people want silly money. I think last time I found them, the lady had two pairs and she wanted, I think, 35, 45 quid each. I managed to get these ones for five pound. Really pointy toe cap, proper cowboy boots, nice big heel. That's the name there on the side there, Sancho. There's a little Sancho tag on the inside anyway. Uh, these are size 42, so I think that's like a size eight UK. Uh, for these ones though, five pound for them, easy money. Definitely 50 plus, maybe even reaching the hundred pound mark. And then she also had this Pokemon price guide she wanted 10 pound for, which is quite steep in my opinion, because I, I was handing her a tenner for the boots and obviously getting my five pound change. And I said, I'll give you a tenner if I can take the book as well. Yep, she was happy with that. So 10 pound for the two. This one's actually not really worth much on eBay, about seven, seven to eight pound maybe. But again, I'll keep it for my collection. I've got a full Pokemon collection up in the spare room. And um, yeah, this will be a nice addition to it. What is funny though is <laughs> looking inside it and the price for Charizard first edition is $240. <laughs> so if that's a PSA 10, I think that's now like 50 grand or something stupid like that. You just wish back in the early 2000s, you went and bought up all the Pokemon cards, stuck them in the loft, forgot about them for 20 years and you'd be a millionaire right now. And coming to the last few finds of the car boot, uh, this one, the car pulled up, they put a bag out, walked straight up to it. And in that bag was a pair of Salomon uh, hiking boots. Really nice condition, contagrip soles, not too much wear on them at all. I asked for a price, he said five pound. So I didn't even haggle, I was happy to pay the five pound. Uh, they're literally not even worn really, like the soles aren't worn that much. Really nice clean condition. These ones here should get about 30, maybe even 40 pound. Top brand, uh, just all the things tick the box. Five pound paid, easy money really. I do enjoy picking up shoes, but I don't really want to niche down into shoes. I, I enjoy the variety of stock I pick up. I enjoy like mixing it up a bit, it keeps it exciting. But shoes are easily the money maker for me. You don't really realize it when you're sort of listing, but then you, you think, oh, I've just listed like five items today and like three of the five have been shoes. And then you go through your sales and like today, for example, already I've sold two pairs of shoes. Yeah, if you're not selling shoes, I definitely recommend getting into it. Just uh, leave some for me at the car boot. And then we have the winners of the day. I couldn't believe these were still there. These are a pair of Brooks Cascadia, really nice condition, literally like hardly worn at all. They've got a little bit of mud and stuff on the soles, but I can wash that off straight away. But there's no heavy damage, no physical damage at all. The laces are nice and straight still, like they're new, they're not twisted or anything. All the ends are good. All the insoles have the print on them still. 
five pounds she wanted for these absolute bargain straight away if you know you're running shoes brooks is one of the leading brands pre-owned you're looking at around 50 to 60 i reckon maybe even a little bit more for these ones because of the condition is so good and the final pickup these here this was the cherry on top really for the whole morning these are a pair of adidas samba or super sambas they say on the box which i didn't know there's a difference but i've just typed them in on ebay and the solds for these are actually really crazy i mean pre-owned people are getting sort of 45 55 quid but these are actually brand new in box they look like they've maybe been tried on once in the house but there's no like they've definitely not been worn outside they're brand new sambas there you go i've done really well with these in the past even in like worn condition still reaching the sort of 30 35 pound i'll be aiming for around 80 to 90 quid on these probably there you go lovely shoes and I paid just £10 for these ones, so absolute bargain at the car boot. On the box itself, they have a price of £69.99. So straight away, £10 is an absolute bargain. And there we have it, guys. That was a little show and tell of all the items I got. You're probably going to see a few more show and tell like videos like this in the future, only because car boots are so dark for about the first 45 minutes that actually it's, it's really not worth filming because I prefer you guys to actually see the items and me explain them a little bit rather than just... Um, have you on my chest in a pitch black field freezing cold in the morning it's not really a good video experience and I want you guys to enjoy the videos and actually see what I'm picking up and learn a little bit from it as well and I think this is the best way to do it so yeah I might still bring the camera out for a few of the car boots but like I said most of that stuff was found in the dark and the majority it was then a little bit later at the car boot where where all the good stuff had gone and you might get the odd sort of fine, but it's not really worth it in my opinion. Anyway, it is Sunday today. Tomorrow I'm looking after the little one all day, so I can't really do eBay at all, uh, apart from get my listings up from my drafts. So I thought I'd just run through what I sold this weekend so far. We've got 11 orders going out. Nothing too amazing yet. I'll show you what I sold anyway. You'll probably recognize a few of these orders from car boot pickups. I'll let you know how much, how much I paid, how much it's sold for, and yeah, go from there. So as always, I'll start with the smallest and work my way up to the biggest in value. Starting off with the Wii U Sports Connection game. This is only sold for £6 with free postage, but it owes me absolutely nothing. I had that absolutely crazy find of that Nintendo Wii bundle. Uh, I'll show you a screenshot of the uh, thumbnail here, actually. But the Wii U bundle itself sold about two, two or three weeks ago, and that sold for £99 with a 10% coupon. So I think they, they ended up paying like 89 quid. That was just the Wii U set up on its own. Uh, the games, I've been selling drips and drabs of them. I think this is probably the least sort of valuable one. Uh, I sold the Mario Kart. Actually, I had two Mario Karts. So I think both of them have gone now. And all the other random games in that bundle. So I probably made around £150, maybe a little bit more sort of profit on that bundle already. And I think there's still a few more games to sell. Next up is just a time tiny little jelly cat plush i actually very rarely find these it's such a well-known name that people actually struggle to find them at the car boot paid 50p for this one with another brand new with tags which is the lion i had this one up for i think i think i had it out for like 20 quid because it turns out to be quite rare i accepted it quite a lower for a 13 pound on it because it is such a small little plush and you know if someone wants it they can have it for 13 quid i don't really care it's still plenty of profit for me 50p paid into 13 pound oh yeah i skipped this one this is a gyarados pokemon card base set not the best condition, quite a lot of whitening on the back. Quite good if you, if someone's just sticking it in a binder. I got this in a bundle of Pokemon cards years ago, and I've had it sitting, sitting aside for ages. Found it the other day, got it up listed, and I had it on for 10 quid, because they're actually not worth much at all, really, if they're in sort of beaten up condition. Uh, somebody this morning sent me an offer of £7, so I was happy to accept that. That's plus postage as well, so... I've got £3 postage on there, make a little bit of money on the postage, very easy to pack, a little bit of money in the bank and gets it gone. So I said I'm not niching down on shoes, but I've got 11 orders here and 5 out of those 11 are all shoes. Bit of a smaller in value one here, these are A6 again, uh, these are only sold for £10, I have no idea how much I paid, maybe like 2 or 3 quid from the car boot. £10 plus postage, not much in it, not the most desirable model, just again, just a nice model if you like, if someone's going to start running and they just want a basic model not to invest too much money into, then they'll buy a pair from eBay just like these ones and next up bit of a random one this came from a sony walkman it's a it's the little belt clip that goes on the back of the walkman and you attach it to your belt so this is sold for £9.99 plus postage it is literally just a little plastic clip i wrapped it in bubble wrap just so i couldn't lose it in one of these big boxes and yeah it's done the job marked it up walkman clip yeah £10 in that one it came from a broken walkman so i split it all out sold the box separately sold the walkman already and yeah that's a little bit of money on top. And next up is just a pair of Frank Thomas riding trousers. They've got the knee pads in them. Quite nice, clean condition. They've only sold for £17.15p plus postage. Not too much in them. There's a the name there, Frank Thomas. I think these are a bit of a fail sale, to be honest. I think I paid like 
five or six pound from a charity shop you find with some motorcycle brands there'd be loads of money in them like if these were like rst or something like that they're probably worth like 50 quid but still a good item to find in the field if you can find it for like a couple of quid and next up we've got a pair of dunlop golf shoes these did have a price on them for 24.99 looks like they're from sports direct paid a pound for these in the field believe it or not but they are literally brand new there's the there's the shoes there little tag on the studs as well just to show they are literally brand new um I don't know why he got rid of them so cheap, but I was there to pick them up. Paid a pound, sent an offer out, I think 10% off, because I listed them for £25, and they've sold for £22.49p. I just thought I'd aim for the same prices on the box, £25, because they are literally brand new, unworn, so why not? Next up, just a basic pair of Nike running shoes. These are Nike Flex TR7s. Just a basic model, not too much money in them. Brand new, they're probably like 45, 50 quid. But I've sold them on best offer for £20 plus postage. I think I had them up for like 26 quid. Somebody sent me a best offer. Happy to accept 20 on them. I only paid, I think, £2 from the car boot. They are in one of my videos, but I can't remember which one. And these came from my Q4 winter stock. These are a pair of Echoes. Again, another really good name to look out for. You can't really see it on the sole, but Echo. Uh, very expensive, brand new, probably 50, 60 quid. These have sold for £26.99 plus postage. I paid literally like £3 for these at the car boot. Really nice, clean condition. Again, a little bit of yellowing on the soles, but other than that, there's no actual damage and the leather is all good. I haven't been going to many charity shops recently because I've been going through my Q4 stock and just focusing on car boots only. But I did the other day go into town and I just popped into one charity shop. Saw this on the shelf for £5. It's a Looney Tunes DVD box set. It is like mint condition. Really nice. The discs don't have any scratches or fingerprints. It almost looks like unused. I reckon they've just like unwrapped it from the plastic and then just donated it to charity. Uh, yeah, they wanted £5. Picked it up straight away, £5. There's not usually too much money in DVDs, but good box sets like this, Looney Tunes, it's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, that has sold for £22 plus postage. And lastly, these are a pair of Converse. They are bright pink, but they are actually men's size 11. I remember buying these from the car boot. This was taken from my winter stock. They sold within like 48 hours of listing uh, for full price. Amazingly, the guy at the car boot said he ordered them, he tried them on at home, they were slightly the wrong size. They went into storage in his loft, and then he went to the car boot, brought these along with him, and sold them to me for three quid. Literally, three quid. Like, I couldn't believe it. You know, brand new Converse. It's amazing what people do. They just, I don't know if it's laziness or they just want to make my day, but <laughs> yeah, three quid for these. Brand new Converse, undamaged as you can see, hardly worn. They did even have the box of them, but that was so beaten up that I just chucked that away and sold them as is. Yeah, so these were three pound into 39.99 plus postage. So very, very profitable sale. Right, and there we have it, guys. There's all 11 orders going out. It's still money coming in. Uh, we've had a good month so far. I had a crazy sale the other day that I might make a separate video out of. If you've got my Instagram, you would have seen it already. Um, but absolutely insane. And the buyer probably hasn't received them yet, but when he does, as long as he doesn't return it, I'll probably make a video out of it, but stay tuned. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please comment below your thoughts on it. And um, like I said about the car boots, I probably won't be filming much at the car boots from now on just because it's so dark in the morning. Uh, so yeah, more videos like this in my little uh, man cave garage. I'll still be pumping out content for you guys and trying my best just to keep you guys happy. I've still got this little cold. So if I sound a little bit muffled up, I'm still literally, I've had this cold for about a month now. And I can't get rid of it. It's really annoying. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like on the way out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.